Hey there, future home sellers. Today we're diving into a topic that's crucial for a successful home sale, and that is overpricing your home. Whether you're a seasoned seller or new to the real estate arena, understanding these dangers will help you in the long run with a smooth and profitable sale. So let's jump right in. I'm Steve Reese, a realtor in the Oklahoma City area, specifically the suburb of Shawnee, just east of Tinker Air Force Base. I run the SoldOnShawnee.com real estate and community blog, and on this channel I tell you everything you need to know about relocating in the Oklahoma City metro area. An argument a home seller might make for overpricing their home might be tied to something personal or um, uh, an investment or emotional attachment they have to the property. They might say, I've put so much time and effort and love into this home. It's not just a house. It's a reflection of all the memories and hard work I've poured into making it special. That's why I believe it's worth more than the other homes in the neighborhood. Potential buyers should recognize all the unique features and upgrades that I've painstakingly added over the years. Plus, with the sentimental value it holds for me, I'm confident someone who truly appreciates its charm will be willing to pay more than it's worth. The truth is, buyers buy by comparison. They are becoming very savvy about the market and buying by comparison means that they know what they've seen compared to what yours looks like and they know what houses are worth and what they're willing to pay. Plus, an appraiser has to agree with both you and the buyer on what the house is worth. Otherwise, the lender is not going to loan money on it. So I'm going to give you five major reasons why you should not overprice your home. Number one, so picture this. Think of uh, your first showing as being online. Buyers are looking on different apps, Realtor.com, Zillow, maybe uh, somebody else's app, and think of it as like a dating app. Buyers are swiping left and right to see which ones they want to look at further. If they see that your house is overpriced or priced more than the others that they've seen that are similar, they're swiping left. Overpricing will drastically limit the pool of buyers and leave your house on the market longer than the others. Remember, buyers are savvy and well-informed. If your home doesn't measure up to the others that they've seen, they're simply going to move on. Number two, stagnation on the market. Remember, time is money and nowhere is that truer than in the real estate market. Listen, buyers are shopping by comparison and the longer yours is on the market, the more they're going to wonder what's wrong with it. And that will lead you to a series of price reductions and then probably selling for much lower than what you wanted to originally. Avoid the trap of stagnation by properly pricing your home from the beginning. Number three, lost negotiating power. Setting an unrealistic price can also undermine your negotiating power. Buyers might assume that you're not serious about selling and this could lead to lowball offers, leaving you frustrated and um, perturbed and uh, just wanting to give up. By pricing your home appropriately, you maintain control over the negotiating process. Number four, appraisal challenges. Ah, oh, the appraisal. That's a critical step in most of our home sales around here. Overpricing can lead to sticky situations. If an appraiser doesn't agree with the price that you all have on your contract, they're not going to allow the lender to loan money for that sale. And we've lost that buyer. Alternatively, it'll force you to lower the price to what the appraiser states it is. And that's probably where it should have been to begin with. Avoid this headache by aligning your property with market realities and the comparable sales out there. Number five, missed opportunities. Overpricing your home can mean missed opportunities and missing out on those buyers who are ready to make a move. You might be overlooking those buyers who are financially ready to buy, but overlook yours because of the price tag. A well-priced home attracts motivated buyers who are ready to seal the deal, making it work for both you and the buyer. And there you have it, y'all, the top five dangers of overpricing your home. As a seasoned and skilled realtor, it's my job to help you navigate the complexities of pricing your home correctly and getting you through to the finish line. Remember, pricing your home correctly from the start is the key to maximizing profits and minimizing the stress. 
If you're considering selling your home, I'd be honored to walk you through my process and show you exactly what it means to have a successful sale. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, I would be so honored if you would hit that like button and maybe subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when the next video is up. And until then, I will see you in the next video. So I'm listing five major dangers, major dangers. <laughs> so again, a bad idea.